Hi, this is my first TikTok. I'm Brooke. I'm walking today to try to beat the blues. I've had the blues the last few days. Um, I went through a divorce in 2020 after being with my now ex-husband for 27 years. And um, I'm 55 years old now and I, I moved from California to Idaho by myself and I, I don't know that many people here yet. And um, I, uh, I'm just feeling kind of blue. I um, went on my first date and um, we had been talking for a month. I guess he was three hours away and um, like he made my heart pitter patter, but we met and you know, we're not each other's person, um, but I'm feeling sadly heartbroken and I didn't see that coming. So I don't know what to do. I just got so tired of first dates first dates that weren't going anywhere nothing was working out nothing was happening and I didn't want a one night stand I wanted like a three night stand <laughs> or a five night stand so I took a different approach through tinder um, I found someone the profile seemed to match kind of what I was looking for um, I messaged him we talked I said what are you looking for he's like I'm a busy single dad but you know, like life's short, I'm open to whatever. And I said, look, here's what I'm looking for. And I told him like a, someone who's not currently seeing anybody else, um, you know, to have preferably more than one time with. And um, it just all worked out so great. And for as long as it lasts, I'm just gonna enjoy it and be super happy about it. Yay! Yesterday I did my first TikTok. And um, I was just walking on this very trail, just talking with you guys and kind of sharing that I was kind of sad about um, just various relationship things and, you know, being single again after 27 years. And um, you guys completely blew me away with your, your love and support and encouragement. Um, almost 3,000 of you stopped what you were doing and commented and even more hit that heart button to send me love and i just wanted you to know that you lifted me up so high with your love and support and i thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart i feel so good today Royal day weekend is coming and i don't have any plans and that makes me kind of sad i get a little jealous when i see these people packing up their trucks and heading up to the mountains the last several years of my marriage we stopped having fun we certainly didn't go camping on Memorial Day weekend because of the crowds. I want a crowd. I want to be stuck in traffic with a car full of people. I want to complain about the campers next door that are being loud. I want to be the camper being loud till one in the morning. Or 10. And yeah, there's a man in this scenario. And he's baiting my hook because he knows I don't like that part. And sex in a tent, hello. And I'll cram my fat ass into a bathing suit because life is too short to care what people think about me. We'll sit around the campfire laughing and telling stories and then Morgan Wallen comes on and I'm not the only one singing. And then we'll all head home sunburned. So I guess the question is, what do I need to do? To I want to reach out to those of you who are going through a divorce, who are separated, who are contemplating separation. Um, I've been there. I don't um, encourage divorce. <laughs> I also don't uh, encourage staying in an unhappy marriage. My marriage fell apart and for years and years I couldn't face the truth. Neither of us could. And we stayed together far too long and I became severely, severely depressed and anxious. And it was really a horrible, horrible time. And um, I just didn't have the strength to leave. And when I finally did, I fell apart again. I think I'm crying because of the memories of that hard time. But now, believe me, friends, there's so much happiness waiting for you on the other side. You just kind of go, go through the pain to get there. And I'm actually very happy.